In this problem, we have an improper integral, and we're being asked to evaluate it. So there is a familiar formula that we can use to integrate this. If you have the indefinite integral of dx over x squared plus a squared, this integrates to 1 over a times the arctangent of a plus a constant c. So in this problem here, it's really 1 squared. So this is just going to be 1 over 1 arctangent of x over 1, you know, plus c. So we'll have arctan x, basically. So let's go ahead and integrate this. Now, because there's an infinity here, uh, the way you do this is you replace the infinity with a variable. I like to use little b. And then you take the limit as b goes to infinity. And then we have dx over x squared plus 1. Now in the next step, we'll go ahead and integrate. So this is the limit as x as b approaches infinity of the arctangent of x. And we're going from 0 to b. So this is the limit as b approaches infinity. So first you plug in um, the b for the x. So you get parentheses arctangent of b. Then you subtract and you plug in 0. So arctangent of 0. Okay. So to figure out what this limit is, it's really important to be familiar with the graph of the arctangent function. So the graph of arctan has a horizontal asymptote at negative pi over 2 and also at pi over 2. And it looks uh, something like this. This is a rough sketch. So as b approaches infinity, the y value gets closer and closer to pi over 2. This will be pi over 2 minus, and then the arctangent of 0 is 0. So we get pi over 2 minus 0, so we get pi over 2. So that would be the value of this improper integral. And so because it's equal to, to a number, uh, we say that the integral converges. But actually, in the original question, um, they told us it converged. We just had to evaluate it. That's why I just jumped into uh, just evaluating the improper integral. So I hope this video has been helpful.